Hey there. Have you ever wanted something with speed, but uh, doesn't lose any stability? Well, at least doesn't uh, lose most of its stability while it's driving? Well, my friend, let me introduce you to the Tadpole. This is a Void co-creation. It is the Mark III, the Scarab Beetle Buggy, and one of the latest and greatest designs of Void Co. So, allow me to show you the specs. Just right on in here. So, my dear friend, first off, excuse any background noises. This is made by me, Swiss Chicken. This beautiful thing has nice little indicators for the night time, and even a nice little spotlight that conveniently only has one for, I don't know, some kind of reason. Maybe it's because I have an eye patch on one eye, and one eye's open, and it's supposed to be thematic, but hey, whatever. So, this little guy. The tadpole. Uh, from testing, it goes about 115 to 120 miles per hour if you really go. Starts up pretty quickly. Eee, that was good. That wasn't a really good showcase. But it does drift pretty well. Uh, it's just pretty, really well. Uh, <laughs> me trying to make my. Um, my errors sound like features. But here, I'll just, I'll just show you. I've got uh, stability mode activated, so it should stay relatively roll unrolly. This is max speed. It has a limiter. Oh, yeah, okay. It has a limiter of about 40 RPS, simply because if it went any faster, it'd be very unstable. And it, it can go faster. It can go up to 150 miles per hour if you really want it to. But it is just not safe with the current uh, systems that it has inside of it. So, you're probably wondering, what does it have? Well, first off, two fog horns on the bottom, one on each side, to, avert, to assert your dominance. Uh, we've got an extreme stability mode that when you get out of the chair, it turns off, just because it's cool. We've got a parking brake, which activates the parking brake. Uh, which also activates a little red light back there, turns off. Same thing with reverse, red light comes on, and if you start it up and drive it like a, well, go over here. I just realized I didn't connect the battery. Um, so, <laughs> whoops, I forgot to connect the battery before I sent it to the workshop. That's okay. Um, just know it has battery and it can recharge itself. Every time it moves, uh, it's not hard. There's only one battery, so all you gotta do is connect that. I'm sorry that that's not what I... Well, rats. Um, anywho, yeah. <clears throat> Just going to ignore that. Okay, so, yeah, it goes fast. It goes real fast. And it's called the Tadpole. It is a variable brake if you hold S, which stops it. It has a reverse, so you drive it like a normal vehicle. While it's doing that. It goes pretty slow. It's not meant to be a reversing vehicle, but at least it has one. I would have also liked to have an exterior button for that. Really shouldn't have put this on the workshop so soon, but hey, whatever. I needed it for an event. I'm doing a cunny server, so if you want to figure out what's going on, uh, we're doing a uh, buggy slash little car server race thing. This is what my entry is. She's pretty good. Pretty, I like her. I like her a lot. Uh, went through many renditions. A lot of time. Because you probably, maybe, maybe or not, see the other one. The little scarab uh, buggy, the one with four wheels, which is the original design. I won't show you the original original because it's just awful, like Mark One. But um, yeah, we're just gonna I'm just gonna follow the road here, and show you its um, range. It has a lot of fuel. It has about. It had a lot of fuel. I've been driving it around. Uh, I probably should have gotten a new vehicle before I started recording, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> God, so many wrong things. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, here I'll show you what it can do. It could obviously go on planes pretty well. And Stormworks is uh, terrain is not all nice. It's not nice at all. Some areas will just kill you if you have vehicle damage on, which I do, just to show you the the abilities that it has. So if we get damaged, uh, I'll show you what we can do to circumvent said damage. 
Because it can work without its back wheel. It'll just be significantly slower. So we're coming up on the land bridge here. By the way, the rest of this video is technically just, uh, uh, yeah, like that weird terrain. And uh, the rest of this vi the rest of this video is basically just going to be a driving thing. See, this is why I hate the terrain in Stormworks. We'll try that again. Excuse my failure. Um, so the rest of this video will most likely just be driving. I don't know if I said that. I forgot. Um, but yeah. We got a new vehicle here, and it has a lot of fuel. About 1,300 1, or so. And um, yeah, I'm just going to cut to the place that I was relatively at. Uh, so yeah. Alright, here we are. This vehicle spars the Go Mango color scheme, which is a very popular design. Uh, the checkers, because Void Code does that. Uh, coming up on this weird T here. I'm just going to skip the road part. Gain some air there. I gotta be careful about this next part, because the terrain gets real wonky. See what I said? Well, this is the temperature gauge right there. It'll give you a warning at high temperatures, and it'll explode. <sighs> I really should have not had vehicle damage on. Well, anyways, <laughs> this was a really crappy way of showcasing this vehicle. Uh, trust me, it's a good vehicle. It's not bad. I've just driven it so many damn times, it's kind of gotten out of my... out of touch. But, yeah. That, my friends, is the Woodco Mark III Scare Beetle Buggy Tidepole. Tadpole, not Tidepole. I keep saying Tidepole. This is the smaller version. It will probably be on the workshop, too, eventually. It comes with its own wheel, which uh, it kind of has its problems of its own. But it's smaller for easier to fit spaces, and it just kind of looks cool. Kind of looks cool. It looks cool for the wheel. Reminds me of some German vehicles. God. And that's why we have bumpers, friends and fellow vents and all that. But you see, my left wheel doesn't work anymore. I really do hate Stormworks sometimes, like, immensely so. But anyway. <laughs> have a good damn night based on wherever you are. And you'll most likely see something else coming from me. I wish everyone would stop playing games right now, because I keep getting that stupid Steam pop-up. It's very annoying, and I'm probably just going to disable it. Anyways, sorry. This is a very faily video. Uh, but yeah. Uh, here's all the stuff, the buttons. Oh, it also has a refueling thing, obviously. Uh, you gotta unlock it with this. That opens this, and then you can control the valves and stuff. And yeah, anyways, yeah. It's a car. It's a vehicle. Really unique. Three wheels. Funky steering. And very prone to damage, like anything in this game, if you have damage enabled. So I'd advise not having damage enabled. But it's good for testing. So anyways, as I was saying, have a good day or night based on wherever you are. And you'll most likely hear me pretty soon. Um, and stuff. So yeah. Be seeing you. And bye bye. Uh. <gasps> oh!